gents. Equal opportunity here at Woodford, so I have to say the gents. So, uh, since I've come to Australia, I've never been asked so many times if I'm Katie Lang. So that's nice. Depending on the conversation, I may say yes. People keep offering me vegan food, and uh, that's not happening. You can't keep a physique like mine by eating hair. Really, you don't get that vegan. Not, nothing wrong with it, mind you. It's a folk festival. There's more vegans than anything else. But uh, yeah, don't get it. Really, meat is good. <laughs> it's ethically prepared. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, we're going to do a song for you now because occasionally I sing. This, uh, I remember when I first wrote this song, it was, uh, it was actually genuine. I'm, I'm giving you a little insight now because I don't like to let on that I have any feelings. I'm about as deep as a saucer. But uh, it affected me greatly when I, when I went to sing this song because I was right back in the moment. Uh, a lot of times I, when, I, when I play, I close my eyes. And that's got nothing to do with uh, me being nervous or, you know, how good looking you are. Uh, it's, uh, I can't read or write music. I see music in color. And, uh, pardon me? Synesthesia. Yes, it is. I'm aware. <laughs> Thank you, my love, though. Thank you. There's a lovely woman here. My friend, she's eating. What are you eating? Are you a vegan? No. No, she's not. It's okay, folks. She's not a vegan. But, but it's a polenta fritter. It's a polenta fritter. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. What do you reckon? I don't know either. Like fries? Uh, I tell you what, I just gotta do something here. <laughs> and then, I'll say something. Good, good. I just I really need to. A few people. <laughs> I'm gonna do this little thing. Okay. Right. Is that okay? We'll, we'll talk afterwards. We'll catch up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I close my eyes a lot because I, I, uh, I, I see the movie that I was writing about in my head. So sometimes I make really ugly faces and I hate seeing myself on video. I'm like, oh my God, I look like I'm passing a kidney stone. <laughs> but, uh, but no, this song, I met, a, I met a, uh, an elderly gentleman at a festival I was playing in, in uh, Eastern Canada. And he told me that, uh, that he'd just been widowed. He was four months a widower. And he was married for 55 years. And in the 55 years he was married, not one single night had he ever spent apart from his wife. And this freaked me out. Yeah. Hello, you. Back again. Hi, Elliot. Hi. I know, I know her. I know her daddy very well. I just went on tour with her daddy. He's in the starboard cannons. Anyway, 
So the 55 years he was married, not one single night did he ever stand apart from his wife. And then I turned around and he was gone. He was gone off into the night and I never got his name. But later on that evening I went, to, uh, went back to the trailer where I was staying. And I vividly remember pulling back the covers. And then it hit me, what must it have been like for him that very first night getting into the bed without her? Whatever about the funeral, but that very, very first night trying to get into that bed without her for the first time in 55 years. And uh, it completely freaked me out. And I stayed up all night and I wrote him this song. It's called 55 Years. Sleep sound, my friend. 